So hello guys. Um, for today's video, we are going to learn how to find the general term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, let us start. So, um, we are asked to find the general term of the sequence 8, 13, 18, 23, and so on. So, we know that the general rule for arithmetic sequence is a uh, goes by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the n minus 1 times a common difference d wherein a sub 1 is our first term and d is our common difference okay so looking at the terms 8 13 18 23 each value has a difference of positive 5 so since each value has a difference of positive 5, then we can now say that our common difference is 5. So to write our expression a sub n, a sub n is equal to the first term a sub 1, which is 8, plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 5. So to uh, uh, simplify, to simplify our, nope. So simplifying the right side, we are going to have eight plus. Don't forget to distribute the five to n minus one. So five times n gives us a five n, and five times negative one is negative five. Combining like terms will end up giving us five n, and then eight minus the five give us a positive three. So the general term for this arithmetic sequence is 5n plus 3. So that's how to find the general term of an arithmetic sequence. But there is a shortcut, or I should say a pattern that we can apply to find the general term easily. That is to analyze the pattern of the sequence 8, 13, 18, and 23. Since it differs by 5, so we are sure that our common difference is 5, and to write the general term, we only have to write a sub n is equals to the difference times n plus, now here's the trick, you have to analyze the given, what will be the term before the first term? I'll repeat that, ha. Huh? The term before the first term. Since we are increasing 5 to get the next term, the term before 8 is a3. And there you have it, you get the same sequence. Or I should say, you have to get the same general term. Now let's try to apply both of those methods to the second example. We are asked to find the general term of the sequence 7, 3, negative 1, negative 5. Now for this uh, uh, given example, we are going to use both methods so that you have an option to choose from. The easier one, the traditional one it's up to you so if we are going to look at the sequence 7 3 negative 1 negative 5 each value has a difference of negative 4 so every time you go to the next term you subtract 4 so to write our expression a sub n or yeah let's list on our given for our data first d is negative 4 and our a sub 1 is 7 so to write our general term, a sub n is equal to the first term 7 plus n minus 1 times the common difference of negative 4. Simplifying this expression, uh, we have 7 plus, don't forget to distribute the negative 4 to n minus 1 for us to have negative 4n plus positive 4. Alright, so combining like terms, let's put the negative 4n first. 7 plus 4 gives us a plus 11. And that is the general term for this given arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let us apply the other method. Wherein, for to find the general term, all you have to do is to write down the expression a sub n is equal to the common difference of negative 4 times n and analyze the pattern if 7 is our first term and the common difference is 
subtracting 4. For every time we go to the next term, what is the number before 7? So to get that, you add 7 and 4, you get an 11. And that gives you the same general rule. So as always, I hope you learned from this simple video. And uh, I will leave another challenge question for you. Put your answers in the comments down below. And the question is this one. Find the general term of the sequence 3, 9, 15, 21. And I will see you in the next lesson. Peace. Okay, for the second example, let's apply both methods so that you have an option to choose from. Wow, binatog. <laughs>